Hey there, everyone. Thomas with Basecamp Trading here. It is Thursday, June 4th, and we're going to continue with the intro to trading series. And today we're going to be talking about how to place trades using Chart Trader on TradeStation. Now, this is one of my favorite ways of placing a trade, and TradeStation is one of my favorite platforms to trade on. That being said, I, I trade on lots of different platforms, <laughs> but uh, this is one of my favorite ways to trade because we can trade right on the chart itself. So when you turn on Chart Trader, all you have to do is at the top of your screen, this little button right here that looks like two sideways, the red and the green blocks, you just click that. That'll bring up the Chart Trader, which is what you're seeing over here on the right hand side of the screen. Now, Chart Trader, there's a couple different things. First, at the top is your order settings. This is where this black line is. That's your account number. So you click that drop down, it's like your account. This is the number of contracts you're trading right below that. So you can trade as many contracts as you want whenever you're placing a trade. This is the type of order, whether it's good till cancel, cancel, day trading, etc. You can attach OSO, which is one starts other orders. So the way a OSO order works is if I check that box and I place an order to go along up here, it will also place two targets and then a stop as well. And once the long entry is filled, it would then trigger the other orders. And those will become what's called an OCO order, which is a one canceled other order. And that would cancel each other out if one of them's hit. Okay. So we can attach OSOs that way, or we can just leave it blank like it is. Now below that, you then have your bid and your ask spread. And then the numbers below them are how many uh, resting orders are at that bid or the ask. And you have buyer or sell market, take it or hit, buy trail, sell trail. And this is the percentage or number of points you want to trail by. Uh, and then you have at the bottom, the main thing here is just cancel all, cancel active, close and reverse. Never hit reverse. It's typically a bad idea. Uh, I always hit close whenever I get to get go to get out of a trade. That way it cancels all the open orders. It closes my position. Uh, because if you click sell, let's say you're long and you click sell, and there's a little bit of lag, so you click sell again, it will end up covering your long and then selling short. So by clicking close, it just flattens everything. It's like the flatten button. Now, the thing that's great about Chart Trader, like I said before, is that we can actually trade on the chart itself. And if you're like me, then that means you're very visual when you look to place trades. So let's say I wanted to buy the NASDAQ above this pivot high up here, which that pivot high is at 96.79 and a quarter. Well, instead of having to go try to place an order and find 96.79 and a quarter on a dome or something, all I have to do is hold down control on my keyboard for a buy order and then click wherever I want it to be. And that places the order there. And then I can move that. I can just click it and drag it and move it wherever I want it to go. Okay. So it's very, very easy to adjust. Then if I want to delete it, all I have to do is click on it and hit delete on my keyboard. Or I could have can click cancel active or cancel all over there. Now, if I wanted to place a sell order, let's say I wanted to sell the market or sell above that resistance or sell against that pivot high, I'd hold down alt and left click wherever I want it to go. And that would place a sell order. You can see it's a limit order for the short. It was a stop order for the uh, long. So we can do that. We can put it wherever we want it and then we can drag it as well and then delete it. Now, one of the things I typically will do when I'm placing a trade is I'll attach an OSO. I'll place my order and then I can just move my stops and my targets wherever I want them to be. So I can adjust it before that entry is hit. And that way, for example, if I'm trading a breakout, when it runs up and it hits that entry, it immediately fills my entry. It, it triggers the trade, buys at market, and then it will also immediately put my stop and my targets in place within less than a second. That way I'm never naked in a position. So again, this is chart trader. It's pretty simple. The main things that you need to know how to do, hold down control and left click to place a buy order, click on the order and hit delete to get rid of it. Hold down alt and left click to place a sell order. You can either click it and hit delete, or you can again go over here and hit cancel all or cancel active and that will do it for you. So that is it for today. I hope it helps. Again, chart trader on trade station. This is one of the ways we place trades, especially for futures markets where we're trading really quickly intraday, but it works really, really well. But that's it for today. I'll see you in the trading room bright and early tomorrow morning. Don't forget once more, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you can stay up to date whenever we are posting new videos. And until next time, everyone.
happy trading.